Okay. Hi, everybody. Today, what we're going to do with this image here, uh, we are going to adjust the, the shadows. As you can see, what happened here, I took this photo a couple of years back over at the Miramar uh, Air Show. I ended up using this uh, the blade of this helicopter to cover up the sun. However, it still caused my um, camera to underexpose this area on the right. It's too dark. I can't see the detail of the faces. So we're going to fix that in two or three little simple steps. First, what we're going to do is I want to um, add two layers. So we're going to do Control J and Control J. I want to highlight both the layers. So I could uh, add it to a group. Which I'm going to do Control G. Once those are highlighted, hit this little button, and you can see how I have the two layers. The second layer, which is a copy, I just want to rename it to Layer Two, just so we could distinguish each of them. Now we're going to go to Layer One. For this one, I want you to uh, click on this little eyeball here, which we're going to hide the visibility of this particular layer. So we just have layer one. Come up to the right, top right, image, adjustments, shadows and highlight. You see the default on mine is 50 and 50 and so it, it kind of lightens it up already. It, it does it for me. So what I want to do is on on my particular case I don't want to go too far out. I'm just going to go up to 60 on this one. But I want to bring this the tonal width, I want to bring it down just a slight. In this case, I think I'll bring it down to 30. There you go. Then on my highlights, I'm going to bring from 0, my default is 0. Yours may be different, but most of the time it's 0. I'm going to bring mine up to about 15. Each photo is different, so even though I'm going to write these steps down for you on my blog, uh, outletphotography.com, uh, just know that these exact numbers are only for this particular image. Your image may require different settings, but you can try these settings and then play around with them to see if they work for you. Then I'm going to come down to my mid-tone contrast, and I'm going to bring it back on the negative side. It's always the default is a, is a zero right in the center. I'm going to bring it down to maybe a negative 15. There you go. I'm going to hit OK. Leave that. How? Let that one load up. Let's save its settings. And then what I want to do, my next step is to click on the visibility for the layer number two, so that way it's visible. Highlight layer number two. This is how the um, the image originally looked. So then, while having layer number two highlighted, go to image, adjustment. I'm going to levels. And on this center number, which is one, there's a little um, indicator here, a little triangle of sorts, and I want you to click on that, and you can drag it. So I'm going to drag it a little bit to the left, not too much. I have to look at the image and, and find a balance between this side of the image and the left side, from the right to the left, in this particular uh, photo that I have. And I think, let me just, if you go too far, it looks kind of awkward. You can see that's that's much too much. And so I'm going to bring it down probably to about 180. So, yes, I'll leave it at 180. And I'm going to hit OK. Let that load. And now, for right now, if you click on the group, you click on that. This is how it looked before. This is how it looks now. I, it's still a little bright. It, it, I, I'd like to still have some of the blue. Um, it's a little not exactly the way I want it, so I make some adjustments. Right now, this the, the layer 2 has a normal uh, setting up on top here, with this little drop-down menu. Go ahead and hit soft light. And you see now the blues, the colors, there's still now a little bit too much on the far end, too harsh. So what I want to do is I want to hit the opacity, 
and I'm going to bring it down just a slight and I want to find a balance here that I feel comfortable with and it, it's, it's probably still a little too much um, use the fill I think this is a little bit better image right here if I used a fill I brought it down to 64 and I think that looks nice this is the image before and this is the image after we can get a close up here image before can't see um, any detail in the faces um, or parts of the helicopter but now you can see so I think this is a much better image than what we had before that's a lot more presentable as far as the guy code.com up there <laughs> forget about that that was already on the sky and I just decided not to remove it no they did not pay me uh, wish they would but they don't uh, but I hope this was helpful if you have any questions and if you need the exact uh, steps that I've taken you can go to outletphotography.com I'll have them written out there uh, for this particular post thank you and have a good day